Elon Musk's XAI just raised $20 billion. That's not a typo. $20 billion, and a big chunk of that money is going toward building something that, on the surface, looks like a Wikipedia competitor. But when you dig into what's actually happening here, this is way bigger than just making another encyclopedia. This is about controlling information infrastructure. Let me show you what's really going on. So, in the last video, we covered what Growkipedia is and how it works. If you haven't seen that, go watch it first because this builds on that. But here's the quick recap. XAI launched an AI-powered encyclopedia with almost 900,000 articles, all generated by their Grok AI. It's free, it's fast, and it's positioning itself as a Wikipedia replacement. Now that might sound like just another tech project, another company trying to disrupt something. But when you look at the money involved and the timing of all this, you start to realize there's a much bigger play happening here. XAI didn't just launch Growkipedia for fun, they just closed one of the largest funding rounds in tech history. We're talking about $20 billion in new capital. NVIDIA is involved. Major investors are pouring money into this, and Growkipedia is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. So today, we're going to break down the real strategy here. What does $20 billion buy you in the information game? Why is Wikipedia so strategically important that it's worth spending this much money to compete with it? And what does this mean for how information works on the internet going forward? Let's get into it. Okay, so first, let's talk about this $20 billion funding round because the numbers here are absolutely wild. According to Bloomberg, XAI closed this deal in early October. The financing is split between equity and debt. But here's what makes it interesting. A big portion of this is structured around something called a special purpose vehicle. Basically, this vehicle buys NVIDIA processors, the GPUs that power AI systems, and then rents them back to XAI for five years. NVIDIA itself is investing about $2 billion in the equity portion. That's significant because NVIDIA doesn't just throw money around randomly. They're betting that XAI is going to be a major customer and that this investment will pay off. Most of this money is going towards something called Colossus 2, which is XAI's massive data center in Memphis. This thing is enormous. We're talking about one of the largest AI computing facilities in the world. The kind of infrastructure you need to train massive AI models and run them at scale. Now. When XAI announced this funding, Growkipedia hadn't launched yet, but clearly it was in the works. And when you think about what an AI encyclopedia needs to work properly, it becomes obvious why you'd need this kind of infrastructure. You need computing power to generate articles on demand. You need servers to store millions of articles. You need bandwidth to serve all those articles to users. You need the AI model itself, which requires massive amounts of training data and processing. All of that costs money, a lot of money. So when people see Grokopedia and think, oh, it's just a Wikipedia clone, they're missing the point. This is infrastructure. This is XAI building the capability to become a primary source of information on the internet. And that's worth spending billions on. Now, you might be wondering, why Wikipedia specifically? Why is this platform so important that it's worth $20 billion to compete with it? Here's the thing about Wikipedia. It's not just an encyclopedia. It's infrastructure for the entire internet. When you search for something on Google, Wikipedia is almost always in the top three results. When AI systems need factual information, they train on Wikipedia. When voice assistants answer questions, they pull from Wikipedia. When you ask Siri or Alexa something, there's a good chance the answer came from Wikipedia. Wikipedia gets over 15 billion page views every single month. That's billion with a B. It's one of the most visited websites on the planet. And unlike most huge websites, it's not controlled by a corporation. It's run by a non-profit foundation and thousands of volunteer editors. There are no ads, no tracking, no corporate agenda. It's just information freely available to everyone. That makes Wikipedia incredibly powerful. It's essentially the default source of truth on the internet. And that's exactly why it's strategically valuable to compete with it. If you can build something that replaces Wikipedia, you control a massive amount of the information infrastructure that the internet runs on. You become the source that Google references, that AI models train on, that people turn to for facts. That's worth way more than $20 billion in the long run. Think about it like this. Google became valuable by controlling search. Facebook became valuable by controlling social connections. 
Amazon became valuable by controlling e-commerce infrastructure. Wikipedia controls factual information infrastructure, but they don't monetize it. They're a non-profit. XAI is a for-profit company. If they can build something that captures even a fraction of Wikipedia's traffic and importance, that's worth an enormous amount. Not just in terms of revenue, but in terms of strategic positioning in the AI wars that are happening right now. So let's zoom out and look at what XAI is actually building here, because Grokopedia is just one piece. XAI has the Grok chatbot, which competes with ChatGPT. That's on X, formerly Twitter, which Musk also owns. So you've got the platform where people share information, and you've got the AI that interprets information that's already pretty powerful. Now add Grokopedia. That's the source of information. So you've got the source, the interpretation layer, and the distribution platform, all controlled by the same ecosystem, all feeding into each other. When someone on X asks Grok a question, Grok can pull from Grokopedia. When someone searches Grokopedia, that search data helps train Grok. When Grok generates content, that can be shared on X. It's a complete loop. This is similar to what Google has with Search, Google Assistant, and now Gemini, or what Microsoft has with Bing, Copilot, and their AI infrastructure. The big tech companies are all trying to build these vertical stacks, where they control multiple layers of how people access and interact with information. XAI is doing the same thing, but they're starting from scratch and moving incredibly fast. That $20 billion is letting them build all of this simultaneously instead of slowly over decades like other companies did. And here's what makes it even more interesting. Musk also owns Tesla, which is working on full self-driving AI. He owns SpaceX, which is building Starlink internet infrastructure. He owns Neuralink, which is working on brain-computer interfaces. All of these things involve AI, data, and information processing. You start connecting those dots, and you see a much bigger picture forming. This isn't just about replacing Wikipedia. This is about building an entire parallel information ecosystem that Musk's companies control from top to bottom. Now let's talk about the business model here, because this is where things get really interesting. Wikipedia operates on about $150 million a year. That's their entire budget. They get it from donations. No ads, no subscriptions, no data harvesting. Just people voluntarily chipping in to keep the site running. It's an incredibly lean operation considering how important and how visited the site is. XAI just raised $20 billion. That's more than 130 times Wikipedia's annual budget. But Wikipedia doesn't need to make a profit. XAI does. They have investors to pay back, shareholders to satisfy, a valuation to justify. So how does Grokopedia make money? That's the big question, and XAI hasn't answered it yet. Option one is advertising. They could put ads on Grokopedia articles. That would be the most obvious path. You search for something, you get an article, there are ads around it. Standard internet business model, but that might make it feel less authoritative than Wikipedia. Option two is subscriptions. Maybe Grokopedia stays free for basic use, but you pay for advanced features. No ads if you subscribe, maybe faster updates, maybe integration with other XAI products. That's what a lot of AI companies are doing. Option three is data. They could use Grokopedia to collect data about what people are searching for, what topics are trending, what questions people have. That data is valuable. It could feed into other XAI products or be used to improve their AI models. Option four, and this is the one I think is most likely, is that Grokopedia doesn't need to make money directly. It's strategic infrastructure. It makes the Grok AI more valuable. It drives people to X. It creates a moat around XAI's other products. The value isn't in Grokopedia itself. It's in how it strengthens everything else XAI is building. Amazon ran AWS at a loss for years because it was strategic infrastructure for their retail business. Google runs many products at a loss because they feed into their advertising ecosystem. XAI might be doing the same thing with Grokopedia. Let's put these numbers in perspective, because $20 billion is hard to comprehend. That's enough money to run Wikipedia for 133 years at their current budget. That's enough to hire 200,000 engineers at $100,000 a year. 
That's more than the GDP of some countries. But in the context of AI infrastructure, it's actually not that crazy. OpenAI has raised similar amounts. Anthropic, the company behind Claude, has raised billions. Google and Microsoft are spending tens of billions on AI infrastructure. This is just what it costs to play at this level now. The difference is that most of that money is going into computing infrastructure, research and engineering. Building the foundation for AI systems. XAI is doing that too with Colossus 2, but they're also building these consumer-facing products like Grokopedia on top of that infrastructure. That's actually pretty smart. Most AI companies are building the technology and hoping to figure out the products later. XAI is building both simultaneously. The 20 billion gives them runway to do that without worrying about profitability for years. And here's the other thing about that number. It signals confidence. When investors put $20 billion into a company, they're betting that it's going to be worth way more than that, eventually. They're probably betting on XAI becoming a $100 billion or $200 billion company. That's the scale of ambition we're talking about here. For that to happen, XA, I can't just be another AI company. They need to control key pieces of infrastructure. They need to be essential. Grow Kypedia is part of making them essential. Now, just because you have $20 billion doesn't mean you automatically succeed. There are real risks and challenges here. First, Wikipedia has a 25-year head start. People trust it. It's embedded in internet culture. Displacing that is incredibly difficult. Plenty of companies have tried to compete with Wikipedia over the years. Remember Google Knoll? Probably not, because it failed and shut down. Wikipedia has survived every competitor so far. Second, the accuracy question. If Grokopedia screws up badly on a high-profile topic, that could damage trust permanently. One major error that goes viral could be enough to make people skeptical of the whole platform. Wikipedia has made mistakes too, but they have processes to correct them and a community that fixes things quickly. Third, the centralization problem. Part of Wikipedia's strength is that it's decentralized and non-profit. People trust it partly because it doesn't have a corporate agenda. Grokopedia being owned by a for-profit company, controlled by one person, might make people less trusting, regardless of how good the technology is. Fourth, regulatory scrutiny. If Grokopedia becomes too important, governments might start asking questions about who controls it and how it's moderated. We've seen that happen with social media platforms. If Grokopedia becomes infrastructure-level important, it could face similar pressure. And fifth, the competition isn't sitting still. Google is building their own AI-powered information products. Microsoft is integrating AI into Bing and their other services. Anthropic, OpenAI, all the other AI companies are thinking about this too. XAI isn't the only one trying to control the AI information layer. But beyond all the business strategy and technology, there's something symbolic happening here that's worth talking about. Wikipedia represents a particular vision of the internet. It's the idea that people can come together voluntarily, share knowledge freely, and create something valuable without corporate control. It's basically the most successful example of that vision still standing. Most of the early internet was built on that philosophy. Open source, collaborative, non-commercial. But over the years, almost everything got corporatized. Social media got bought by corporations. Content platforms got monetized. Even things that started non-profit often ended up controlled by big companies eventually. Wikipedia is one of the last major holdouts. It's still non-profit, still volunteer run, still donation funded. It's a reminder that the internet doesn't have to be all about monetization and control. So when a for-profit company with $20 billion tries to replace it, that feels significant. It's not just about technology or business models. 
It's about whether that collaborative, non-profit vision of the internet can survive in the age of AI and massive corporate consolidation. Maybe Growkipedia succeeds and proves that a well-funded corporate version can be better. Maybe Wikipedia survives because people value its independence. Maybe both coexist and serve different purposes. But either way, what happens here will tell us something about the future of information on the internet. So that's the $20 billion plan to replace Wikipedia. It's not just about building an encyclopedia. It's about controlling a crucial piece of information infrastructure. It's about creating a vertical stack where XAI controls the source, the AI that interprets it, and the platform where it's distributed. Whether it works or not, we'll find out over the next few years. Wikipedia has survived every competitor so far, but none of them had $20 billion and state-of-the-art AI behind them. This is a different level of challenge. For XAI, this is a huge bet. They're spending massive amounts of money to build something that Wikipedia does for basically free. But if it works, if Growkopedia becomes even a fraction as important as Wikipedia, it could be worth hundreds of billions eventually. And for the rest of us, this matters because it's about who controls information online. Right now, Wikipedia is neutral ground controlled by a non-profit. If that gets replaced by a for-profit platform controlled by a single company, that changes things. Maybe not in obvious ways immediately, but over time, it matters who owns the infrastructure we all rely on. That's the story behind Growkopedia and why XAI is spending $20 billion on this. If you want to stay updated on how this plays out, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be following this closely because this is one of the biggest developments in tech right now. I'll catch you in the next one.